Hey guys, so as we continue our series about getting the most out of reading the Word, um, I guess the question is, what have you been reading? Got a minute? I think one of the main things that people don't do whenever they're reading is carry that reading on with them past the time that they're reading itself. In scripture, it talks about meditating on the word. You see it all throughout the Psalms is meditating on your laws, your precepts, meditating on the things that you are shared with us. I like the way that it says it in Colossians 3, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. So it says, let the word of Christ dwell in you. And if it's dwelling in you, it's moving, it's active. This is the living word that's working inside of you. If we're just looking to check it off the list, like, oh, I did that. I'm a good Christian today. Then we're not getting the most out of our time with God. So as you're summarizing and questioning and we're going to make connections and all kinds of different things, whenever you're doing these things, don't let them just fall to the wayside as soon as you walk away from wherever you're doing this devotion. These things are meant to be carried with you. And so whenever you're going out through throughout your day, you're going to be able to see those things if they're moving and active inside of you. You're going to be able to see that that person on the, the side of the road and you're going to you have revelation about what it means to be poor in spirit. You're going to see all these different things around you because God's going to open your eyes to the things around you. So make it to where there's always an answer to the question of what have you been reading? Thanks for sharing a minute.